Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my next video wherein we will discuss how to extract the NSE data with company name using A2019 Automation Anywhere. So before starting the video discussion, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So let us start our discussion for the day. So let us start our discussion for today. First of all, from the browser package, drag and drop the open action. And in the properties tab, select the browser as Doodle Chrome. And in the link to open, paste the URL from which we want to extract the data. And then click on save. Now using the recorder action, drag and drop the capture action. And in the properties area, select the application tab and click on refresh window. And then from the drop down, select the window from which we want to extract the data. So over here, we have the window name as nifty 50 INS. NSE live nifty 50 so select this window and then click on capture object and now capture the first element that is present under the company name so just click on this once the area is highlighted with red So wait for the uh, recording to finish and then click and then from the actions to take on object select the get property action and in the property name pass in the HTML inner text and now in the object properties uncheck the path option and then copy the domex path since we want to make this domex path dynamic to loop through all the rows that is present in the table so go to the notepad and paste the data that we have copied that is the domex path and now as you can see over here the in this domex path this div element is changing every time when we capture each row of that header so we since we want to make this dynamic we have we will create a variable of type number so on the variables panel click on plus option to create the variable and give the name of the variable as vnum counter and in the type drop down select the number as the option and give its default value as 1 and then click on create and now click on save now over here in the domains path just change the variable name to vnum counter and copy this domex path and paste it over here now over here you have to convert this num counter to a string variable to string since in this it supports type string so we will pass in as dot to inside the from the last dollar just press backspace and then click on dot to string and this will be converted to string now over here since now with this dynamic domex path all the rows that is included under the company name will be extracted so now we have to store the output of this in a variable 
so scroll down to the bottom and then click on create variable so this will be of type string so give the variable name as v company name and then click on create and select and then click on save So similarly, we will capture the other column data that is present in the Nifty website. So drag and drop the capture action from the recorder package. And in the properties section, select the application tab and then select the window. And then click on capture object. Place the cursor over the LTP value and then wait until it becomes highlighted highlighted as red and then click on it so once you click on it it will finalize the capture area that we have captured so copy the domain's path again and play, paste it in the notepad and then click on recapture object again and this time take the second value from the LTP column and then click on it once the area becomes red and again copy the domain's path and go to the notepad and over here you can see again the div area is changing so place the variable that is dollar vnum counter dot to string and then the dollar. Now copy this whole domain path that we have made the dynamic and paste it over here in the domain properties. Just a minute. So select this number to string and then in the action to take an object click on get property action and in the property name again select the HTML inner text since we want to extract the inner text and from the object properties uncheck the path property since the path may also vary and now click now create a variable that is VLTP and then click on create and select and then click on save So once we have captured all the data from the website, now we will write the data to a text file. So to write the data to a text file, use log to file command. And from that, drag and drop the log to file action. And in the uh, file path property section, browse the file in which you want to write the data. So first of all, we will create a text file with the name NSC data and now we will browse and now we will browse the file from the required folder location. So my file is present at the desktop location. So I will select the file from the desktop location. After selecting the file, click on open button and in the enter text to log give the variable names or pass the variable names that we have created that is v company name and v ltp value and then click on yes insert and also append the timestamp 
and in the when loading option select the append to existing log file option which is selected by default and in the encoding drop down keep the encoding as nsi and then click on save button so now from the loop package drag and drop the loop action and in the loop action properties select the while loop and in the condition drop down select the string condition and give the condition as v company name is not equal to blank and put all the actions that we did before that is the capturing of company name and the ltp value and then writing the extracted data to the log file under the loop under the loop action last but not the least we will have to increment the num counter variable by one the num counter variable that we created we have to increment that variable by one so now we will run the bot so to run the bot click on run button so when we click on run button the bot will be deployed on the system that we are running the bot and the bot agent service will be invoked so we have to wait for a few minutes or a few seconds until the bot will be started on the system on which you are running so as you can see the on the bottom right side the bot has started to run and now it will extract all the details such as company name and the ltp value from this data table or from this table that is present on this website So once all the details are extracted or captured and written to log to file that is the text file so the bot will close this browser or the internet explorer window that we have opened So I will be back once the bot is run successfully. See the bot has run successfully. So now we will go to the file where we have extracted the data from the NSC website. So as you can see all the details that is the company name and the and the LTP value along with the timestamp has been extracted to this text file. So this is how we can extract the NSC data along with company name and LTP value or other columns in the text file or we can extract in the Excel file as well. So with that we have come to the end of our video where we discussed how to extract NSC website data using A2019 Automation Anywhere which is now known as Automation 360. If you have any queries regarding this video or content, then you can raise your queries in the comment section and I will, and I will be more than happy to answer or resolve all your queries. Till then, have a great day.